Good evening, I'm Greg Sharp. Our sports ticker tonight brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. A pair of Huskers honored today by the league for their play last week. Pitcher Emmett Olson, second baseman Mac and Anderson earned Big Ten Conference weekly honors. Olson was no-hitting Michigan on Friday through six innings, and Anderson had three home runs in wins last week over K-State and the Wolverines. The Huskers return to Haymarket Park tomorrow night to face Omaha. First pitch set for 6:02. Former Husker Derek Walker has been invited to the Portsmouth Invitational Tournament later this week. Alonzo Verge, James Palmer, Ty Webster, and Siobhan Shields, recent Huskers that were invited to this event, which is a good showcase for NBA teams. The outdoor track and field season is underway, and the Nebraska men check in with the number six national ranking, while the women are 15th. The Huskers have nine athletes currently ranked in the top 10 in their events. The Husker Spring Volleyball Match coming up in Central City on April the 19th versus Wichita State. Sold out today in under 30 minutes. Folks started camping out last night at 7.15 to score some tickets to the exhibition. One afternoon baseball game in the bigs. The White Sox turn back the Twins. Four to three, the rest of the big league action is under the lights. And the WNBA draft is just getting underway in New York City. The 1890 Initiative, helping Husker student athletes navigate name, image, and likeness. To learn more or donate, visit 1890Nebraska.com. Now let's get ready for a full night of Sports Nightly coming up here on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Ralston again delivers 1-2. And Andrews swings and blasts it! Deep left center field and gone! Home run, Brooke Andrews! And Nebraska takes the lead in the sixth! To the fall, the 0-1 slider ripped to right, hit pretty well. Ryan Mooring going back, looking up, and it is gone! Home run, Max Anderson, a three-run blast to right field, and the Huskers have taken a 3-0 lead. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers. Huskers Radio Network. Thank you. Welcome to another week of Sports Alley. Hope you had a really good Easter weekend. Hope you had some time to spend with your family and friends. And maybe even the Easter Bunny hopped by with some candy. Did the Easter Bunny find you and give you some candy this weekend? Uh, no, I Easter Bunny did not find Darn me. Darn it. But by the way, so I heard a crazy story about why the Easter Bunny, but I don't remember it. But do you know why the Easter Bunny was uh, picked to be the representative of Easter? No, I don't. I'm going to have to look up the story, but it was Oh, I wild. thought you knew it. I, you're setting me up. It's, I'm like, oh, I mean, it's kinda... hard to, like, explain, but it's, like, something about how they can still, they can have babies and, and then still get pregnant while they still have babies. Okay. Like, probably. they can basically get pregnant twice. That's probably true. Like, in the same, I guess, carrying in their belly. I I'm don't gonna know. I'm going to bring some candy in, so I'll bring that in this week for you and Cole. Reese's eggs, and they're probably on sale okay. right now. Reese's this eggs. This is the time, Jeremiah and I both are fans of the holiday Reese's more than just the regular Reese's, because there's more peanut butter in them. So the hearts for Valentine's Day, the trees for Christmas, the eggs for Easter, and, um, and the pumpkins for Halloween. But there's a lull between Easter and Halloween when you don't have those holiday pumpkins. They don't make stars or anything for ha 4th of July. I thought you were going to ask for Starburst. Well, I do like this. Starburst, but don't go there at this point. The whole <laughs> other road going down that thing right there. So The Starburst jelly beans are good. Are they? Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to try that. You like jelly beans? I do like jelly beans. You like jelly beans, which are chewy. Yeah, I like jelly beans. Fruity. Yeah. Candy. You just don't. It's not like I don't. So it's the it's... unwrapping of the Starburst that you don't like. I have no problem eating the Starburst every now and then. This is not one of my top 10 mm. pieces of candy. Uh, boy, crazy stuff. <laughs> well, we were just got back from uh, the big house. The weather was much better in Ann Arbor than when you and I were there in the fall. It was very nice, actually, up there. Low oh, 50s good. and sunny. That's where you good. had to stand in kind of wintry weather for that football game up there in November. Yes. I was trying to carve out and squeeze my way and find a place in the tunnel to stand to get out of the snow, and there wasn't much room. No, nope, not much room. And we didn't have any problems with the tunnel when we were up there. You guys went to the hockey arena? We got the, the team after the game yesterday, they go and they shower before they head back to the airport to come home. And so they went into the old, it was the old basketball arena for Michigan basketball from 1923 to like 1960 before they built the Chrysler Center. Now they play hockey there. Uh, and Michigan hockey was in the Frozen Four 
uh, which Minnesota lost Saturday night to Quinnipiac in the championship game. Really good match. I got to watch some of that on Saturday night. But, yeah, got in, inside. They still had the ice down inside. It's Yoast Auditorium. It was really a cool place to go in there. All And you saw it when you were there in November. All of the athletic department facilities for Michigan are right there, like in a three-block radius from the big house to the Chrysler uh, center to the softball field, the baseball field, the Yost, uh, their indoor football facility. It's all right there in one little kind of four or five block area. Kind of cool. And I like the looks of the big house. The big house is a cool look. I'm not a huge fan of what's inside of it, but the outside of it looks pretty nice. I was very underwhelmed. That was one of the places that I was really excited to go coming to the Big Ten and, and check it out, and I was pretty underwhelmed by it. It's, it's pretty it's, from the outside, though. It is the way yes. the brick that they have is nice, but you're it right. It doesn't inside. seem as big. No. It's like the big house, but it doesn't seem very big. 110,000 people. I know. Well, there weren't 110,000 people when we were there. No, it was too cold. Huskers had a good weekend. Took the series. Michigan was first in the league when Nebraska arrived in town. Huskers win two out of three. And now get the next five at home starting tomorrow night with Omaha. And congrats to Max and Emmett. Well-deserved. Nebraska's starting to get a little bit of momentum, I feel like, in the baseball diamond. So I wanted to ask you something. Okay, so you know how, like, back in the fall in football, we will say, who's your midseason MVP and uh, maybe burst out onto the scene guy? Who would right now? Because you could pick a number of different guys. Yeah, you could. Max and Bryce are probably co's right now, really. And both those guys, Jessica, we're, we're not going to see them much longer. They're both draft eligible after this season. I think they both get drafted probably in the first three to four rounds. And so... We're not going to be able to kind of watch and enjoy those two guys, and they're both playing terrific baseball right now. And Emmett Olson's also draft eligible, and he's probably a top three-round pick as well. He's been by far the pitcher of the year for this team, and I think it would be co cool between Max and Bryce now on, on the other side of things. So last year we, we talked about this because uh, Bryce is going through when he was stepping in to fill the shortstop role right. and it, a lot of pressure and maybe the comparison game and um, you know it took him a while to work through some of that the expectations that come with that and Max maybe a little bit of a sophomore slump but what, what, what's going into what are you seeing out of those guys to be able to break through the way that they have this year yeah they've been both fantastic Max has not met an area at second base wow. uh, now Bryce has made some errors at shortstop you're going to you a little bit longer throw that type of thing. But the power that Bryce has displayed has surprised me to this point. He's got 10 home runs already on the season and big home runs, big yeah. moments, game changing moments. Like Friday when it was 1 1 in the 10th, he hits a two run home run. Yeah, and it's because it seems like to me, like if you're, if you don't watch every single second of every single game, it seems like Bryce is having the bigger season because Bryce is having right. those, those really big moments that propel the team to wins where Max is just every day just going about his business and going three for four at the plate and maybe not in the big time moments but it seems like Bryce is really delivering in those big moments. There's no doubt. Bryce has been the big moment guy for this team and Max certainly has done his share as well. He's got 10 home runs and 35 RBIs but yeah Bryce, it's, it's, it's really tough because Bryce has made some errors that have been costly on the defensive side where Max has not but that's a good, that's a good debate and those two will settle that debate over the next month because this is where this thing is headed. Oscars now have five straight at home tomorrow Omaha Northwestern comes to town for three and then Creighton next week so this is a big stretch for this team to continue to pile up wins. How are you uh, I guess um, like in the league as far as jo- the jockey yeah. for at the top? Indiana has really maybe overachieved to this point in time. And right now, I think Indiana, Nebraska, and Maryland are the top three teams in this league. Huskers have to go to Maryland. They have to go to Iowa, who's a good team. So Nebraska's road schedule is really, really hard. That's the thing about it, Jessica. You don't play everybody. Yeah. So there's an advantage. You've got 13 teams. You only have eight series. So you miss. So who do you miss? And sometimes you miss the better teams, which helps your record. And that's why I'm glad they have the postseason tournament so you can really just settle it on the field. And so Nebraska, which didn't make Omaha last year, will definitely be there this year, I think. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I mean, because with baseball, like, you're going to lose some games, right? And I know everybody gets caught up in wanting to play perfect all the time and win every single game. But to me, this team's shown some flashes of being a really, really good baseball team. When they're playing really good, they seem to be one of the best teams, uh, especially in the league, but you know, yeah, the, a team the that could compete with anybody in the country no from doubt. what I've seen. And the Vanderbilt win shows that. Vanderbilt's been on fire. Nebraska beat them in early March. They're up to fourth in the country, third or fourth in the country. So the ceiling on this team's pretty high. Yeah. Now they got to iron out the lows, and that's what frustrates a lot of people, like losing to Omaha like they did a few weeks ago and losing in the ninth inning to Creighton a few weeks ago. So they got to iron that out. 
but there's a lot of home games, folks. Let's get better weather coming now, so hopefully much bigger crowds. Softball also on the road over the weekend. They take two out of three from Maryland. Uh, they have a huge series coming up this weekend. They go to first place, or second place, rather, Indiana, who's been on fire. So a big weekend What's coming up. Indiana's Rotary, Diamond Sports. They've been pretty solid. They built those beautiful new ballparks here a couple of years ago. Their baseball program has been really solid, and the softball's been on the rise the last couple of years. Uh, so interesting to see that. I want to talk a little Masters. Did you get yes. a chance to watch some of the, the I golf? I did. I watched a bunch of it, and my dad and brother actually went. And it, it was crazy because... So I, I didn't even realize the story behind it, but we have a relative that lives out in Augusta, and, and she got to go, um, gosh, it was like 10 years ago, my dad said. Because I was like, how did you get these tickets even? And so it was like 10 years ago, and he said, if your name ever comes up again and you don't want to go, we'd love to go. This was a 10 years ago. Her name finally comes up, and she found out in the fall and asked my dad if he wanted to go. And I, they drove there, and they only got the one day, and it was the rainy day. It was Saturday. So they did get kicked out a little bit early they had to leave at 3 30 the leaders i think they said were on seven by the time it all ended but um i just i didn't realize either that there's no if you get those tickets on that day and that gets rained out you you're don't, out of luck you're out of yeah. luck so my dad was saying we were driving there just hoping that it wasn't going to get canceled on that day but i got a call at eight in the morning from augusta georgia and i was like i mean i knew my parents my dad and brother were there but i'm like you know, maybe it's like a, somebody calling me, asking me for, if I want to go on a cruise or something. You know, those calls are all the time. So then my brother leaves me a message like, hey, it's me. And I remember that you can't take your cell phones onto Correct. the course. Right. But they have like this line of like pay phones. And my brother's like, I knew, I memorized two numbers and yours was one of them. So, but you can, unlimited use of the, uh, the pay the phones. phones. And so he just came and was like chatting it up. And he was like, I got two peers for nine fifty and a sandwich for $2 and 50 cents. He's like, it's yep. crazy how cheap it was. And then they also, they, boy, they had a great seat. If you watched it all, they were on hole four and they got there right when the, an hour before the gates even open and they were told they had somebody that told them like take chairs and they set them down you can set your chairs down and people don't bother them they leave them alone you can leave them alone you can literally leave those chairs there and go walk the course and then come back and your chairs will still be there so they were there bright and early and were able to get really close right there on the front and got a great spot on four and then walked around and then were able to come back and their chairs are still there Four is a gorgeous par three, elevated tee box, and they're patrons. They're not spectators at the oh, Masters. Yeah. It's patrons. Are you a pimento and cheese sandwich person? I've actually never had one, but... That's what they serve. They yes. serve that, and they serve, I think it's an egg salad sandwich. Yeah, I think that's and what... And they're like a buck fifty. Yeah. It is was, all they are. It was super cheap. Yeah. My brother also got in trouble because he was... Um, he hollered at a group of guys on their way off. I think it was like Phil's group. It was just like... Good job, guys. And somebody came up to him and said, hey, we don't do that here. So it's like, I mean, they're strict they about. Are. And they are. there's so many things that you're not allowed to do that, you know, because, I mean, I just went to the waste management, which could not be on the complete opposite, opposite end, end of the spectrum. Totally where, I mean, is. it is a party you can't. People are talking in your back swing, back swing and, you know, hollering for beer. And, I mean, it is wild. People are streaking on the course. I mean, could you imagine if that happened at the Masters? They would not put up with it. Cole would have a hard time because he would be the guy that would love to yell, you demand, you know, after the drive. <laughs> They don't let you do that stuff. You cannot no. do that. And my brother got in trouble for that. And they I will. Mean, if, you, if they have to warn you, I think, two or three times, they will escort you off the grounds, and you're done. You're out. It's, it's like you're allowed to if it's like a, uh, like a reaction with a group roar, like if everybody's cheering on you a big shot. Yes. But individual cheering is not allowed at something? all. Isn't that something? But the players love it. The course is magnificent. It's gorgeous. I love that tournament because it's a limited field, and it's, you have to qualify to yeah. get in. And so it's the best of the best. That leaderboard was fantastic to watch it, it all was. weekend long. I thought they did a really good job of showcasing the live players too. For as much as you know, we've seen maybe in the past them trying to completely avoid that conversation, which Phil and Brooks kept made it hard on C the CBS folks to not include them in the conversation. Um, but I, I was happy to see Phil come out and perform the way he performed. I thought Brooks, Brooks is a guy that plays so aggressive and he doesn't play like he's scared, but I thought he was playing not to lose once he got that lead. And he's just not a player that plays like that. You I picked mean, him. I did. Pick? I yeah. was pretty, I was felt yeah. pretty good about it going into the no, last day. He played day. really well. Now, a lot of criticism was that they didn't give Phil enough attention yesterday. He had a great round. I mean, he had the lowest round by a guy at 53 years of age. 
in I all-time Masters I think he did once he, because he, boy, he strung together birdies really quickly. It, it all kind of happened on the back nine. And so I thought they, once he started making a push, I thought they did go to him quite often. They should. He was a story. Yeah. And a great story. And golf's in a weird place because of Liv. And, and in fact, I was sitting at the Detroit airport last night and had it on my laptop. And a guy goes, well, I just hope it's not one of the Liv players. And I'm like, I'm not going to get into an argument here. But, I mean... You blame those guys. They're taking. They went and got big paydays, and they're not playing as much golf, and they're still great players. And and that decision to do that has made the PGA better. It's made it golf better. I mean, so I understand, you know, the politics behind it too. But there needed to be some changes, and they've been they've been pleading for changes. They've been asking for changes, and the PGA was very stubborn on it. And so this. Th it's it's caused positive change. It has. Whether you want to admit that it's a good thing or a bad thing, it's it's made things better for those players, those athletes, and I mean that was a fun Masters to watch. I mean it was very entertaining, really from start to finish. I thought didn't have the drama at the end because of Rom had a, enough yes. of a lead. You didn't. There wasn't drama coming up 18 that he's going to blow this thing. But I feel cheated some weeks when I watch the PG, and I you know I watch a lot of golf. When I'm not, I don't feel like I'm seeing the best fields yeah. because Rom is or Kepka's not in it. Reed's not in it. I'm not a Reed guy. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but your Phil's favorite, don't lie. Cam Smith's not. Those guys are good, good players. They're top ten type players in the world, and they're not in many tournaments that I watch. And so I feel cheated. Yeah, that's why I think these major tournaments are going to be so great and why everybody's going to be tuning in because right. those I was a huge fan of Dustin Johnson like sure. he's my favorite golfer and so I was sad that you know he, I don't see him every weekend but that's why it makes the ones that they can get in the majors so so special to watch but yeah um not the drama at the end but it was still was a fun it, it, I thought it was great that the live players made it interesting and I was happy for Phil my family's a huge Phil Mickelson guy Lefty. Boy, he's lost some weight, hasn't he? Yeah. Looks really, really thin. All right, here's what we have on the program tonight. Jessica had a chance to catch up with Miles Farmer, longtime secondary player for the Cornhuskers. How's he adapting to new coaching, new coaches? We'll have that for you coming up here in a little bit. Hour number two, it's our Monday show with head baseball coach Will Bolt. He'll be here for the entire hour, so get your comments, questions ready for Coach Bolt in hour number two. And our phone lines, text lines open for you at 402-413-2400. That is our Sports Sunday hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime. They've got 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned that you can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. With all the, the, uh, the wonderful moments of Easter over the weekend and the Masters that we were talking about, obviously some really sad news in the Oscar world. Found out about it mid-game yesterday when I learned that Cole Penzik perished in a car accident early Saturday morning. It breaks my heart. That group of guys, and Jeremiah Searles is one of them, uh, that era of Husker football has lost three young men out of car crashes, and Sam Folds, Mark Pellini, and now Cole Penzik, 32 years of age. Tragic, tragic loss. I know he will be laid to rest on Friday in Columbus. Jeremiah is one of the pallbearers. Our thoughts, prayers go out to the Penzik family. Dan, his dad, was a, a great Husker player in the late 80s for Coach Osborne. And Cole, undersized, yes, but a big-time heart. And it was a pleasure to call his games our thoughts and prayers with the Penzik family. Our show will continue next. Did I forget something? No, just wanted to tell you I love you. Oh, don't forget to buckle up. Drive safe. I will. Love you too. Someone is counting on you to buckle up. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. It's time again for some Nebraska farm facts. For Nebraska soybean farmers, sustainability is a way of life. 97% of farms are family owned and 95% are participating in conservation programs and using sustainable practices. And they have significant sustainability goals by 2025. 10% more energy efficiency, 10% less land, and 25% less soil erosion. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers. Growing opportunity from the ground up. In America, the future belongs to everyone. That's why we make trucks like Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 46 years straight and counting. Made for performance and capability. Made to play hard and work smart. 
on and off-road. That's because they're built Ford tough. So be future ready with Ford F-Series, based on 1977 to 2022 calendar year total sales. Your story, it lives in the capital city, where we take Nebraska nice to another level, and we always show up for Go Big Red. In your story, a pioneering spirit has built a community that cares. Your story is the story of Lincoln, told by those who live it and love it. Whether that's breaking news from the Capitol or sending you to the best shows in town. And here in the Lincoln Journal Star is where it comes to life. Lincoln Journal Star, where your story lives. Baseball season has arrived and your local Cynics has all your favorite snacks and beverages for the game. So whether you're hitting the road for an away game, headed to Haymarket Park, or going to cheer on your favorite local team, make Cenex your destination for top quality fuel, your favorite snacks, and service from a local smile. Fuel your fandom at your local Cenex station. Husker Pride, powered locally at Cenex. Other irrigation companies are finally discovering what TNL Irrigation is known for decades. Continuous movement is the best way to irrigate. While they'll have you pay for complicated upgrades to get steady, even water application with their high voltage electric systems, all TNL Irrigation pivots and linears are propelled safely and smoothly by powerful hydrostatic drive. Continuous movement isn't new, it's the TNL standard. Don't get talked into a reinvented wheel. Pick the proven original. Call your TNL Irrigation dealer today or visit TLIRR.com. TNL, like no other. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hello, tomorrow. We may not know exactly what you've got in store for us, for our routines and our normals. But here's the thing. Turns out, we've got this. We haven't seen everything, but we have seen ourselves be more ready for whatever you bring than we thought we would be. So when it comes to tomorrow... Bring on the day. First Interstate, built for you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Visit us at firstinterstate.com. At CHI Health Clinic, we believe health care should be personal because knowing your provider personally makes appointments more comfortable, more productive, and more meaningful to your overall health. Get matched with a primary care provider based on your personality and lifestyle using CHI Health Clinic's My Provider Match. Take the survey at MyProviderMatch.com to find the right provider for you. Getting healthier starts by getting personal at CHI Health Clinic. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Husker fans, don't miss your chance to get a first look at new head coach Matt Rule and the 2023 Husker football team. Be in Memorial Stadium on Saturday, April 22nd for the annual Nebraska football red and white spring game presented by FNBO. Tickets are on sale now and are only $10 when purchased in advance and $20 on the day of the game. To secure your tickets today or for more information, visit huskers.com slash tickets or call 402-472-3111. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Looking for a car buying experience tailored to you? Start with Woodhouse, a trusted partner for automotive needs and a proud member of the Nebraska community. With 18 brands and 21 sales and service locations, our dedicated Woodhouse team is ready to provide you a convenient and seamless transaction from anywhere. Whether purchasing, selling, or servicing, experience the difference with Woodhouse, the official auto dealer of Nebraska Athletics. 
We're back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you Monday night, Sports Highly, here on the Huskers Radio Network. Glad you're with us here tonight. And Will Bolt will be with us in our number two of the program. All right, Miles Farmer. This is a guy that's played an awful lot of football here at Nebraska, now getting to deal with a new coaching staff on that side of the ball. And there's never a dull moment around Miles. He's a, he's a pretty enthusiastic, full of life guy. I guess that's a good way to describe him. I mean, him. those defensive backs. I mean, they are just their characters, right? And I before they really, the two of them really burst out on the scene. But Quentin Newsom and Miles Farmer are really, really close. They're best buddies. They're always together. You always see them together, and they've been two of my favorites. Really, since I got here, I they are so great. So yeah, I I really enjoy getting to talk to him. Are we going to that right now? Let's do it. Okay. All right. Here is Miles Farmer last week after practice. All right. Well, how is spring practice going for you guys? Spring practice. Spring practice is going good. It's going good. I'm I'm loving it. It's fun right now. So. You coming off the year that you had, but then adjusting to a new staff and then off season, all of that. How has it felt for you this spring? Different. Um. I have to be on my P's and Q's this spring. You know, I don't have as much time as I had last year just know, from knowing the coaches. It's a new coaching staff, so they want to see what I can do right now, not in the fall. So it's been, I've been having to like step up my game, step up my game, really. That's you, what it is. you were a vocal leader, you were a leader for the group, you're an older guy, you've been around. So are you still embracing that role? You feel like it's still important for you to help lead this group? Um, yes, yes, of course. It's important for me to lead the group, but I also know when to play my role, you know, and just like, Try and listen and try and be a younger guy sometimes, you know, just learn what I can. And I'm learning from I'm learning from young guys, I'm learning for the from my current my old teammates as well. So just just being being a DB right now. There's a, a lot of talent both in the DB rooms and the wide receiver rooms. I, to me that's one of the most fascinating matchups because there's a lot of talent in both rooms. What's it what's the competition been like between you guys? Um the competition has been great. The uh, the receiver the receiving room, they bring it every every practice. So we got to bring it to practice. It's just it's been straight competition since spring started. So I mean, I love it right now. What's it been like working with uh, Coach Coop? Coach Coop, he's a great coach. Um, he's very blunt. <laughs> he's gonna tell you how it is and how he's feeling in that moment, and he's not gonna hold back. But it's on us to take the coaching and keep it pushing. What about the defense? Seems like it's uh, every defensive player I've talked to is free. Go make plays, and you know how much do you are you enjoying that? Um, I am enjoying it. I mean, it's not as much thinking. It's there's some thinking, but it's it's not as it's not the thinking that you that slows you down. It helps you play faster. Um, we when we're free, we can go out there, and we can read the quarterback, and just go make a play on the ball if you want. What's what was uh, what were some of your goals? What did you want to accomplish here this spring? Um, I wanted to learn the defense for one, learn the defense, master the defense, so I can help my guys that I'm out there with get lined up, and whoever's struggling with the defense, I can help them. I just want to be the person that they come to, you know. And how do you feel like where this team's at now compared to where we were two weeks ago and then where you need to be moving forward for the rest of the spring practices? Um, I would say two weeks ago we was all very frustrated just because we didn't know the defense where well, we were still learning it. But right now I feel, I feel like we're getting very smooth with it. It's becoming more fluent. And uh, two weeks from now it should be like, like the back of our hand. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see where we are in two weeks. You just recently had a big video posted on uh, Husker football. You took the microphone. I joked. I said, are you trying to take my job? But were you surprised at any of the responses you got on who coaches and players would say they'd let date or babysit? Um, I was very surprised, but it wasn't a bad surprise. It was just, that's crazy. But I had fun doing that. I mean, I got to you know, um, interact with my coaches, my teammates at family night, and it was just a good, it was a good feeling. So let me turn the tide on you. Who would you let your sister date? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody could date my sister. But um, if I had, if I had to pick somebody, I'd probably say Quinn Noose. I, I would, that's who I would have guessed you would have said. Quinn Noose. All right. Appreciate your time. Thank you. If you didn't know what I was talking about, so he got the mic at the family night the other night. Yep. Was going around asking his teammates who they would let date their sisters and coaches who they would let babysit their daughters and it was it was hilarious and so he uh, I turned the script on him and of course I should have known I should have said other than Quentin Newsom who would you let date your sister and but he obviously said nobody first so 
Well, he's really into music and, and making his own yeah. music, and he's got equipment in his apartment. And I mean, these guys have, they're human beings. They have life outside of doing all the football stuff. And so I, I'm, I, it's great that he has other interests. I yeah, think. he's a very creative guy and, and has things outside of football and uh, likes to make music. And so it's Javier Morton. Apparently, Javi is really talented. Yeah. So, um, you know, we had Javi in one, when you were out on vacation in the summer, and, and he was telling us a little bit about it. And But, yeah, he's super talented, apparently. Uh, Miles was telling me last year when I did a Cornhusker conversation with him that Javi came and helped him with some beats and stuff, and so, yeah. Wasn't Andrew involved in some yes, of that, Yes, Andrew was, yeah. yeah. He forced himself in there. Uh, I which I, I'm hearing <laughs> that Andrew <laughs> might be making his way back what? for the spring game. Put him to work we'll when he comes back I, here. I already said that. I'm like, you, you need to... Well, put him to work, right? <laughs> you Cole? need to help us out while him, you're here. Put him to work. All right, uh, and I think you played this clip last week when, when Matt Rural met with the media on Thursday. He was asked specifically about Miles Farmer, and I loved his response about Miles. So I thought even if you played it the other night, I wanted everybody to hear it again. Miles, um, you, can, you can turn a team into a good team when your uh, best players, A, um, they, they buy into the things that, not only that they, everyone buys into the things that they like, can they buy into the things that they don't like? Can they buy into the things that don't make sense? So Miles is one of those guys who, like, first got here, like, part of his edge, which I love, <laughs> is to be a little bit chippy. And he's gotten to the point now where, like, he understands, like, hey, let me coach you. And so Miles is one of my favorite guys to be on the field with. He's physical. He's competitive. But he's bought into a lot of the small details, whether it's the classroom, whether it's the way we communicate with each other. And if I can get more and more of the other guys to do what Miles has done, we'll have a chance to have a good team. Miles is a competitor. There's no doubt about it. I mean... On the sidelines, there is nobody that, I mean, more than Miles that wants to win, is emotional about things, is all in, is happy for his teammates. I mean, when Quentin does something, when Malcolm Hartsog, there is nobody happier for his teammates. There's nobody that wants to compete. And I immediately thought that when he said that. So what have we heard about Matt Rule saying about his staff, how, how competitive they are? And they're competitive with each other when they're recruiting. They're competitive against other teams. I mean, they're just a competitive group of people. And to me, that's one of the first words I think of when I think of Miles Farmer is he is a competitor. And so I figured that they would like that with him is, is that really um, that want to compete uh, really at all costs. And Jim in Columbus on our text line said, I like farmers thinking that he can learn from the younger players and older players and not afraid to speak up. And, and I think that's exactly right. I think I, I'd love to talk to these coaches a little bit about has your perception of guys, and I'm sure it has, changed from the winter conditioning, all the games you were playing, to now you see them actually on the football field with pads on and playing the game. I bet they've changed their mind on a handful of guys. Well, yeah, because, I mean, I think they're – what what they do in the off season is great and it and it allows them to build some camaraderie but you know not all the guys are going to want to go to the sporting events you know and not all of them might do all the the things like attend every single event like to get all the points and all of that and so you might not have a lot of points in that regard but then you get out on the f football field and, and you compete and all of it is part of it and it's part of what the culture that they're establishing and what they're trying to you know put in place here at Nebraska it all goes together but I think probably some of the those guys that might not have finished as high on the points but really like playing football that like to compete and get out there with their teammates and, and play football probably I would think that it does it's like a basketball coach who loves their kids in conditioning and then you get on the field and you're like, well, I really liked him, but he can't shoot, you know, <laughs> or can't dribble. <laughs> he was great over here, but he can't dribble or can't shoot. So, like, well, I got to play the other guys that can do those type of things. So Yeah, and I mean, I, I think, again, it all goes kind of hand in hand, and, and you don't really know until you get them out there. That's exactly right. And you don't know how – some guys, I mean, just think about how many times we hear about practice. They're not really practice players, but, boy, they turn it on for the game. And in every single sport do we hear that. All the time. And so – the conditioning part isn't fun, and it is absolutely necessary. You got to do it. You got to take care of business. But there is no doubt. There's just it, it's on every team. It's every sport. There's just players that sometimes just turn it on when the lights come on, when you're actually playing football as opposed to just lifting, running, whatever that might be. So there's no doubt about it that they've got players that they've been more impressed with because the lights are on right now because they're actually playing football. And there's the reverse of that. 
players who are wonderful in practice. You can't get it done when game, the lights come on. You're like, wait a minute, you did that yesterday in practice, now today well, We're hearing not... all the time about how great they are in practice, but why is it translating? You know, it is, right. it's kind of wild. Yep, it is. All right, 402-413-2400. That's the number if you want to be a part of the program with a call or a text. Open phones in our next segment. Also time to tell you that First Interstate Bank's built for you. Learn more at www.firstinterstatebank.com. Member FDIC. More of the show coming up. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Huskers, do you want a fulfilling career that's financially rewarding? Explore the many ways you can be a part of the insurance community. Go to IIAN.org slash careers today. Business insurance is a lot to manage. Did you know a trusted choice independent insurance agent can help guide you through it at no extra cost to you? They'll do your insurance. You just do you. Find out more at trustedchoice.com. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm Student Government President Jake Drake with Campus News. Nebraska has the most technically advanced buildings in the Big Ten, according to an annual review of universities across the country. Nebraska has also saved over $85 million over the past 17 years by making long-term investments in clean, reliable energy sources, cutting-edge automation, and collaborations across campus. In America, the future belongs to everyone. That's why we make trucks like Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 46 years straight and counting. Made for performance and capability. Made to play hard and work smart, on and off-road. That's because they're built Ford tough. So be future ready with Ford F-Series, based on 1977 to 2022 calendar year total sales. To win the game, you gotta have more strength. You gotta be tougher. You gotta be reliable. You gotta want it more than the other guy. And you need a great team you can count on, backing you up the whole time. Whether it's in the field with your Massey Ferguson or on the field with the Huskers, red is the color of getting it done quicker, smarter, and efficiently. So this season, make sure you're checking out the lineup that'll get more done where and when it counts. From your Nebraska Massey Ferguson dealers. Hey everyone, I'm Mark Wahlberg and I have some exciting news to share. At Wahlburgers, we are all about bringing the family together to enjoy a great meal and have a great time. That's why right now, for a limited time, kids eat free every day at all Hy-Vee Wahlburger locations. Kids 12 and under can enjoy one free kid's meal with any purchase of an adult burger, sandwich, or entree salad. Bring the family to Wahlburgers and the Wahlburgers and hy V stores where right now kids can eat free. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. SOS to the rescue. SOS to the rescue. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so hot. The air conditioner is out again. SOS, he screams and calls SOS Heating and Cooling. His favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. 
First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Dear gas prices, go take a hike. Toyota is the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. The Toyota hybrid lineup brings efficiency with power, savings with style, and top-notch tech to keep you connected. Not to mention plush premium interiors and the most advanced Toyota safety features. So, now you know who you're talking to. Toyota, the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. Toyota, the brand with a hybrid or electric vehicle for every driver. Toyota, the brand that helps save you money at the pump. Now, let me ask you a question, dear gas prices. You really think you can stand in the way of the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years? <laughs> Think again. Toyota Hybrids. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Based on manufacturer estimates, CY 2000 through 2021 sales. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. We're back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions forever refill. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you on a Monday night. Huskers took the weekend off. They'll have their practices resumed tomorrow. They have six practices left to spring ball. They're past the halfway point. I feel like it just started. Games in, a, what, 11 days? A week from this Saturday. 12 days. How about that? Wild. You ready? We're going to put you to work on that day. You're going to be talking more than I am. That I day. had a lot of fun doing that last year. That's a fun, um, and I, I mean, I've worked the spring game at OU several times. That's kind of what it is because all the players come back. So you're seeing all the who's who of, of you know, that played here. And then I would imagine a lot of those guys, like, I, I mean, surely Cam Taylor Britt, JoJo will be back again, some of those guys. And then, um, you know, and then also when they're done playing, you can also talk to the players, which when do you ever get to do that? You don't. <laughs> you know, so you actually get to do some in-game interviews and, and chat with guys and some of the injured guys. And, um, you know, I think right now everybody is, is open to be able to talk. Nobody's in the doghouse at this point. So we'll uh, be able to get lots of inside information down there on the sideline. We know Casey Thompson will not play. We've had that asked a lot of different times. He's starting to throw the football now, but he's not going to play in that game. And so that's probably somebody you can grab at some point in time on that broadcast. I was told he's, despite not being able to practice, he's pretty involved. He's got the headsets Good. on. He's trying to coach up his guys. And, you know, um, Heiner Carberg told me that about, you know, I noticed that too with this group of quarterbacks last year and you know even when whoever was playing and even when Casey was hurt how he was coaching up guys and then when Casey was playing Logan and and Heinrich they would all get together and and talk because they're um who's quarterbacks coach Chava, well no Co well, Coach Whipple, Whipple, was, Whipple would never really come over and talk to them over there on because you know they they would break up in their different position groups and so like you'd have like all your guys going but the Whipple would never come talk to the quarterbacks, really. And uh, so you know, the, those quarterbacks got together, and they would always talk about what, what they saw and, and were re relaying things in. And um, they, they're really tight, and I think they still are really tight. And I, I mean, I see Logan and uh, Casey together all the time, and part of that is probably because they're hurt and going through the rehab process together. But um, I think it's a really tight group, and so I think he's, he's right there and, and trying to help out however he can. We gonna have another sideline slice with Searles anytime. I hope so. Yeah, we uh, we have talked about going into a full on O line weeds conversation. So um, we'll let you guys know when we're gonna tape that because if you have offensive line questions, anything goes, and uh, we'll dive into all of that because so you know we always talk about the offensive line, but really like going into the weeds. I think we're due for one of those conversations. I was prompted to ask that by the chat room. They were asking whether, when our good friend would be making an appearance again. So. Oh, well, um, and I asked him last week to come on, 
the Thursday when you were out, and he said it was bad time for the kids, that that's witching hour for the kids. And that's probably true. Between that's, six to eight? Is that a pretty wild? Yeah, well, that's bedtime and feeding time <laughs> and all that type of stuff. We've had some people ask about the latest edition with Kicking Back with the Cooks. It is, I don't know if it's fully been dropped. We'll play a snippet of it on Wednesday's program, but they have got it recorded. And if it isn't out yet, it should be out momentarily. Yes. I, don't, I saw a little thing on Twitter today, so I don't know. A little teaser. Whole, I don't think the whole thing's out yet. We call it a teaser in the biz. Good. There you go. So, <laughs> but we'll play you part of it on Wednesday night show uh, with John and Lauren Cook. They had a little media session today to the volleyball team. I think kind of on the back end of the Central City uh, sell out of tickets earlier today. They'll play Wichita State in a couple of weeks. I know they made Merritt Beeson, the transfer from Florida, available today. We'll, we'll work our way to get to her on the program a little bit later on as well. But that should be a fun, fun day. Three weeks. Two weeks from this Saturday is when they'll be up in Central City. And what, sold out in 20 minutes? 24 minutes, I believe it was. It only yeah. seats 2,500. It'll be a tight fit Well, and there. you can only buy them in person. You had to be there in person to yeah. get them. I wonder what and, time people started lining up. maybe we will have a John Baylor sighting in the coming weeks. I think we do. I think, from what I heard, it's been confirmed. That I missed that little bicycle coming right up there behind you on the ramp. I know. <laughs> Every time, like, I'd be in mid-thought and you'd start laughing. He doesn't wear a helmet, though, does he? I think he does. Couldn't get Je couldn't get Andrew to wear a helmet with his. Uh, I think sometimes scooter. he does. So uh, well, mm. good stuff. Uh, congratulations to folks out in Central City. You're gonna have a ball with that uh, match coming up with Wichita State in a couple of weeks. Hey, folks, buckle up. Put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. We're back to a wrap up hour one next. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset, day by day. Donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. Husker fans, this is Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. You've probably heard about NIL, name, image, and likeness, and now you can have an immediate impact on the success of our programs. The 1890 Initiative is a proud NIL company in Nebraska, and with your help, we can maximize our student-athletes' opportunities with NIL and prepare them for life after college. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics. Let's do the same with NIL. To learn more, visit 1890Nebraska.com, where 100% of your donation goes directly to Husker student-athletes. That's 1890Nebraska.com. Looking for a car buying experience tailored to you? Start with Woodhouse, a trusted partner for automotive needs and a proud member of the Nebraska community. With 18 brands and 21 sales and service locations, our dedicated Woodhouse team is ready to provide you a convenient and seamless transaction from anywhere. Whether purchasing, selling, or servicing, experience the difference with Woodhouse, the official auto dealer of Nebraska Athletics. Farmers can make what seems impossible reality with a little hard work and ingenuity. They find solutions to reduce inputs and improve their yield. Valley Irrigation is no different. As the leader in irrigation technology, we deliver results and optimize your operation. Because when you have a vision for the future, you need the people that can make it possible by your side. Expect what's next. Expect what's possible from Valley. Visit us at valleyirrigation.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra. The perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. This year, we considered hiring an ad agency to help with our marketing. They pitched impressive visuals and a script that was inspiring. And exotic animal mascots to help grab your attention. In the end, we just decided to tell it to you straight. Shelter Insurance has award-winning customer service at affordable rates. Plus, our local agents are there to help you understand what coverage you need. See Shelter Agent Sharon Lear in Papillion, Paul Hoos in Grand Island, or an Ord C Agent Matt Woodward.
Time now to see what's on tap. Presented by Bud Light. Husker baseball tomorrow at home against the Mavericks of Omaha. It will be a 6:02 first pitch, 5:30 for pregame coverage. Husker softball will head to Bloomington, Indiana, to take on the Hoosiers on Friday. It'll be a three-game weekend series. First pitch Friday at 5, 4:45 for pregame coverage. That is what is on tap, presented by Bud Light. NBA playoffs start tomorrow. This is about the time I'll start kind of paying a little attention to the NBA. I can't do, Jessica, I can't do the regular season. You can't watch back in October? (laughs) No, I just mean, I'll lock in the playoffs, and I actually enjoy the playoffs, but I can't do. I mean, I'm too much into college basketball during the year that really DV off and Follow the NBA. It's hard for me to watch much outside of Nebraska, you know? I yeah. mean, and with all the editing and everything that goes along, I mean, I just kind of try to stay locked in on our teams, and then when we have time, watch elsewhere. Deviate off. Yeah. I did enjoy the, the hockey final the other night between Minnesota and Quinnipiac. I was, kind of, I was pulling for the Gophers. I thought, all right, I'll be a Big Ten guy and pull for the Gophers. Terrific game. They, they lost in overtime. Three to two. It was a lot of fun. Enjoyed the heck out of that. It was down in Tampa. Had a huge crowd down there. I think next year they're up in Minneapolis for the Frozen Four. What, are, what is Quinnipiac's mascot? Cole, you have to do, Google for Bing it for me, Cole. Um, they, I know they're in the state of Connecticut because they were talking about what a week it's been for the state of Connecticut because the Huskies won the men's basketball championship and Quinnipiac won hockey. So that state's got two big titles here in, the, uh, in a span of about 10 days, so good for a span of five days, I guess. So What a uh, funny good. name, Quinnipiac. What? Uh, or Bobcats. Or Bobcats. Bobcats, that's right. I, I should have known that because they mentioned that a lot during the telecast uh, the other night, but that, that was a lot of fun. We've got uh, an interesting week coming up. We talked about uh, kicking back with the Cooks. We're going to play a little bit of that. The Men's Gymnastics National Championships are coming up this weekend in Pennsylvania, and you're going to do a profile piece on a really good gymnast here in Nebraska. Yeah, Taylor Christopoulos is the Big Ten Gymnast of the Year, and he is currently the number one guy in the all-around, leading the entire country in the all-around competition. And uh, he's really good. He, It was awesome getting to chat with him. And so, yeah, I think you guys are really going to enjoy that conversation. We had to be recorded because they're hitting the road yeah. to go to nationals so that we could bring that for you this week but he was awesome to chat to uh, chat with and this is a team now everything you know has to go right and Stanford is the clear favorite and they're kind of a little bit like Goliath but that's what Taylor was saying is that with gymnastics anything can happen right so um, I think if um, you know if everything goes right this is a team that can compete for a national title and certainly individual national titles. I mean, he just won the vault championship, the first Husker to do that since 2019. He was the first Husker ever to win outright the Big Ten Gymnast of the Year since Nebraska has entered the league. That's impressive. So uh, there was a Husker that that was the co-gymnast of the year, but the first one ever to win it outright. The Big Ten is a a little bit, with men's gymnastics, a little bit like wrestling. I mean, there's a lot of good teams in this league. And, um, you know, Michigan, Illinois, Penn State, all going to be in that conversation in those top fives to be able to compete for a national title with Stanford and Oklahoma. Those will be the powers to be. That's Friday, Saturday. We'll have that interview with Tater coming up later on in the week. Also, congrats to Husker Bowling. They got out of regional play. They're off to the NCAA championship weekend. That's coming up this weekend with a national championship match on Saturday night. Our Sports Highly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime. They've got 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned that you can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. Baseball show next. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. I'm University of Nebraska-Lincoln student Hannah Fahm with Campus News. Students from Nebraska's Johnny Carson Center for Emerging Media Arts helped create visual effects for the Star Wars TV series Obi-Wan Kenobi. This opportunity came from a three-month internship with Lola VFX, a visual effects firm in Los Angeles. This internship transitioned to employment, with Huskers also creating effects for the superhero movie Thor, Love and Thunder. Hey everyone, I'm Mark Wahlberg, and I have some exciting news to share. At Wahlbergers, we are all about bringing the family together to enjoy a great meal and have a great time. That's why right now, for a limited time, kids eat free every day at all Hy-Vee Wahlberger locations. 
kids 12 and under can enjoy one free kids meal with any purchase of an adult burger, sandwich, or entree salad. Bring the family to Wahlburgers and the Wahlburgers and High V stores, where right now kids can eat free. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card. Free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at FNBO.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. When you're a fan, you wear your team's jersey on your back and your heart on your sleeve. After a win, your world glistens. Lose and the hurt permeates your soul. You'll always have a place with us in the Cox Fan Zone, where everyone can play and connect with other fans in a big group hug. See, in the Fan Zone, you're not some crazy fan. You're home. Hey, Husker fans, this is Greg Sharp, voice of the Huskers. Say Fan Zone into your Contour Voice remote to play. Not at home? Visit cox.com slash fan zone. Go Huskers!
This is the Husker Baseball Show on the Huskers Radio Network with head coach Will Bolt. Presented by your Midwest Ford dealers. Visit buyfordnow.com. The 2 1. Slider Swanson launches one to left. No doubter. Way out of here. Swanson into the game. His first at bat is a two run bomb to left. Home run number four for Gabe. And Nebraska extends their lead back to three at six to three. Lefty righty matchup here. The 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Another strikeout. Number 10. That ties an Emmett Olsen outing from earlier in the year with 10 Ks. The 2 0 pitch. Hit hard to the left side. Diving grab by Carey. He flips the second for the out. What a play from the freshman at the hot corner. The 0 1 pitch. There goes Burnham. Hit and run is on. Matthews swings and golfs one in the air to left. It is deep and it is gone. Bryce Matthews, a two run jack to left. And Nebraska's on top three to one. Here is your host, Greg Sharp, on the Huskers Radio Network. Hey, here we are. Head coach Will Bowl with us for the entire hour. If you have some thoughts, questions, comments, Phone lines, text lines wide open for you at 402-413-2400. Huskers had a road week down in Manhattan on Tuesday up to Ann Arbor for the weekend series against the Wolverines, and you had a heck of a week. You go 3-1, and one, you really had to like the way the guys competed for you last week. No, it was a it was a great week, and it, it feels good to say that, you know, because we've had uh, had other opportunities on Sundays to make it a great week, and just haven't been able to to finish uh, on those days. And um, yeah, it was just a really competitive week by our bunch, our group, and uh, some really big performances out of our bullpen. Um, thought we did a really nice job there, and a little choppy at the plate, but had some had some big moments. And um, you know, what can you say about? You know, our stars were stars uh, this week. Uh, they really stepped up when, when the team needed them the most and had some other guys kind of chip in. And then that's, you know, that's the sign of a good team where you've got, you know, not just your top guys um, performing, but you've got some other guys helping out. And, that, and that's what we saw over the course of the week. And, um, yeah, it was, it was great to finish off, um, you know, that, that series win on Sunday. Let's go back to Tuesday because you you played a K-State team that's playing pretty well. They'd swept Oklahoma like a week or so before you went down there to to play them. Interesting weather where you warmed up and took BP in a warm wind blowing out. Right before first pitch, the wind switches. It's coming in. It cools off. You had to dig deep, but you made plays to win a a, a road game against a Big 12 team. Yeah, that was a a, a very odd set of circumstances Um, going down there. it It was the most bizarre batting practice I believe I've ever seen I mean it literally every ball that we not just us but Kansas State I mean you hit a fly ball it was blowing out of the park I mean it was blowing that hard Uh, and then we could just tell the wind change and the temperature dropped a little bit uh, right around the time that we had the national anthem and um, it showed up in that first inning you know the the pop-up that landed right behind Max because the wind kind of changed and it was kind of threw guys off a little bit it that made the ballpark play huge. Uh, so I thought we did a good job of we hit a lot of singles, but it was, you know, hard ground balls and line drives on that night and um, had some big hits. And Clark, I, I'm glad he was able to leave that game feeling good. We had the lead, um, got out of a jam there. Um, a big break we caught there, honestly, you know, line out to third base with the bases loaded. Um, but, you know, we needed that, and he needed that, and um, it was good to see us score late, too. That's one thing we've done a good job of as well is um, we've scored late in games. So uh, really big win and set the tone for the week. Bryce has been your late-game hero of late. He, he, with a big hit in that game and then the, the two-run home run Friday to win the Michigan game for you. He seems to be the kind of guy who raises up at big moments. Yeah, and we've seen that. Uh, you, you, you know, think back to his freshman year. Um, he, he was, I, I can't tell you, there were probably three or four instances his freshman year where he had bases clearing, extra base hits with the bases loaded. Um, he had, I don't remember yeah. had one the first weekend against Purdue. Uh, he had one against Illinois in a big moment that helped us win a Sunday game, I believe it was, and uh, a couple others in there too. Uh, Grand Slam maybe against Maryland and just very clutch player over the course of his career. And I think you know, you, you look back at guys like that and um, they, they just shut their brain off at times in those situations and just get into compete mode. And that's one thing Bryce's, um, his first couple of years, he was always very clutch, um, but a little up and down. And where he's really made that, that jump this year, same player, same talent, everything else, and just goes to show what mindset can do for you. 
Um, he hasn't worked any harder. You know, he's always been a very diligent, hard worker. Um, but just that mindset of just being in that mode all the time uh, has allowed him not only to be clutch, but also very consistent this year. Uh, trivia question for you. Nico from Colorado. Tell Coach Bolt we need to bring back the gray sleeveless uniforms from the early 2000s. <laughs> Love the team this year and can't wait to watch them down the stretch. Go Big Red. You were familiar with those. Oh, units. yeah. Gray sleeveless, yeah. We had the, uh, the, the red undershirts that we wore underneath them. And I think everybody kind of remembers them just because you, you picture us playing in those uniforms in Rosenblatt uh, for a couple of games there. So um, not, not a huge fan of the vest uniform, though, I'll really? be honest. No. 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 Take us through that process because it's a collaborative <laughs> effort, isn't it? You and the Adidas rep probably yep. sit down and go, I like this look, I like that. How does that how does it work? Um, we kind of have a template of some ideas of uh, from Adidas and you know feedback with with Kyle, our equipment manager, and uh, Al Recker, who works for with Adidas. And um, you know we're blessed and fortunate to have Al on campus, um, and and Adidas does a great job for us. But um, yeah, we just kind of collaborate on those things, and I kind of put my two cents in a little bit. Um, kind of talking with my staff and maybe some of our veteran players like hey what do you what do you guys like and um so it felt like i think when we when we got here four years ago um we got all new all new uniforms you know and we've kind of replaced a white jersey i think the new white jersey turned out awesome this year um really really happy with how that turned out and um, i think we just have a, a sharp set of uniforms and not never say never with a vest. I just I, I never really was a huge fan of those as a player. Um, they were pretty comfortable, but um, to each their own, I guess. Yeah. I, I, I just I don't really think too much about uniforms. I, I, I you know I, I think they're pretty. I like them to be pretty simple. Um, and I know um, obviously uh, maybe it's a big deal for for recruits and our players too. But um, yeah, I just I think. Uh, Adidas does a nice job, and, and our people here really do a nice job. I've heard a lot of thumbs up on kind of the throwback whites that you've yeah. put out this year. A lot yeah. of people like those. They, they're sharp. They look really good. Yeah. 402-413-2400. Let's go to the phones. Greg and Lincoln's up next with the coach. Good evening, Greg. Good evening. Yes, sir. I have a question for Coach Bolt. Yeah. Uh, regarding regarding uh, pitching, Okay. Uh, my question is: Is why does it seem to take so long for the pick and pitching coach to go out to the mound when the pitcher is in obvious trouble and multiple runs uh, have been scored? And also, why does it take uh, the pitching coach so long uh, to uh, get someone warming up in the bullpen. And if the, if the pitcher continues to have trouble with the next hitter, why does it take so long to bring in a new pitcher? Is there no confidence in the bullpen or what? And I will... Okay. Thanks, Greg. Um, I don't really know how to answer that question, uh, to be honest, because I think we we're all collaborating in the in the dugout. It's not just a decision made by myself or uh, or Coach Christie. We're all kind of talking and we're looking at the stuff uh, of the guy on the mound. We're looking at the situation, the matchups, um, you know, those type of things. So, um, yeah, maybe there was a point in time in the season where. You know, we didn't feel like we had a ton of options in the pen. I feel like that's that's a, a little bit different. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, I think we we do our best to, to get the guys, uh, you know, down in the bullpen and ready to go and uh, kind of anticipating situations. I mean, we all have our, our cards that we're looking at. We're seeing the who's left, who's right coming up. Maybe maybe it's not always about that. Maybe it's about how they hit certain pitches and, you know, certain situations we may need a ground ball. So. Um, you know, I don't really know how to answer the question about taking so long um, <laughs> because I, I don't think there's really a perfect answer with that. I think we do the best job that we can. Um, and I think our bullpen's done a pretty nice job over the course of the last uh, few weeks with, with the guys that we've been running out there. Yeah. So. 
fact, in the span of the last seven games, the bullpen has tossed 24 and a third score, consecutive scoreless innings. It was snapped in game two of the Michigan series, I think when Brock had gave up a run in the sixth inning. But you've had some long stretches where the bullpen's been really, really good. You're also, you have not been opposed to pulling guys mid-count. You've done that a few times yeah. already this year. Yeah, and again, you just kind of get a feel for the situation. And, um, you know, maybe it's a situation where we say, hey, we're going to give him one more hitter. Uh, and then he, you know, just looks like he has a big miss on that first pitch and we're ready to go make the move. Or maybe we need a little bit more time um, in the pen. So, um, you know, it's inexact science. And it's certainly um, one of those things where it's probably the most scrutinized thing besides uh, maybe bunting <laughs> when yeah. it comes to second guessing. I know it's the nature of the beast, but um, yeah, there's no no exact science with it um, you know we we do our best to put our guys into situations to succeed to to follow up on Greg's comment to your coach are you more likely to stay longer with a starter maybe than a guy <clears throat> that just comes out of the bullpen well uh, Typically, the way that Emmett and, and Jace, up until Jace just kind of recently, the last couple outings, they've, they've been their best reliever. So we give them a little bit more leash to work out of their own jams because we feel like that they really bear down in their outings, um, you know, when they're out there. And, and they're, you know, very rarely have we had to go take the ball. Uh, I don't know that we've gone mid-inning with Emmett maybe one, maybe one time all year. I think we let him spend his 100 pitches and you know, move on from there if we can, because he's just so competitive. I mean, he just does such a good job of bearing down when he needs to, and Jace, you know, kind of falls in that category too. So, um, you know, with relievers, it, yeah, it just kind of depends on what the command looks like, what the stuff looks like, what the matchups look like. Uh, there's a, a bunch of different things that go into to making those decisions, and, um, you know, certainly it's it's not perfect, but, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know that there's a, a right answer to that. Emmett named today, Big Ten – Pitcher of the week. Yep. Pretty cool honor. And he had a no hitter going into the seventh. How about the job he did in that seventh inning? First two guys get on base yeah. and they don't score. Amazing. Yeah. Second and third, nobody out and, and they don't score. That just he got it. he made his pitches. I mean, and, and it's it's very impressive the way that he made those pitches because uh, he got inside on on right handed hitters at the very end of his of his outing there. Um, and jammed him. He got the, the, the kind of the jam job uh, line drive to second base, he got the jam job ground ball to third base. Uh, that Again, that's kind of why we let those guys like him stay in there is because he's probably the best suited in those situations, uh, you know, to make those pitches. So, um, yeah, amazing job there by him. And, um, again, that's why he's our Friday guy and he's such a bulldog. Buckle up, put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. John in Omaha. Coach, how do you balance the excitement of some of your players getting drafted versus not having them back for more years of eligibility? I imagine it can be a recruiting tool as well. Thanks, Coach. Go Big Red. Yeah, it, it'll always be nothing but um, excitement for our guys and, and the opportunity to get drafted. Now, certainly you want them to have the, the right opportunity, um, and you want them to have the type of seasons that's going to give them that opportunity. I mean, that's – that's why you go recruit those type of players as you see you say hey if they're going to be some of our frontline guys you'd like them to only be here for three years because that means that they've played at a very very high level um, so I know some we've got some guys that have a chance to get their names called pretty early and I could not be more thrilled for them you know personally I've seen how hard they've worked and how much they've put into our program and into being successful uh, players for us it's also great from a development standpoint for recruiting, um, you know, to say, hey, look, we've had guys come in here and be high draft picks. Um, Nebraska already has as many big leaguers as any uh, Big Ten team does currently. Um, so that's, that's a selling point in itself. Um, but yeah, I, I just I think that's just the way it goes in college baseball. Your very very best players very rarely last four years um, in college. They, they have a chance to go play professionally now. You know, it does sting at times when guys go really late or maybe you don't feel like they have the right opportunity and they still make that decision. I'll still support them no matter what. But it's always going to be nothing but uh, pure joy from, from our end as coaches to see our guys be able to live out their dream, be a high draft pick, and, and go get their professional career started. You would have loved to have had Spencer Schwellenbach back another, <laughs> right. couple, another year or so, but obviously he goes off to the professionals, and it was great to see his parents stop by yeah. the ballpark the other day. They live up there in Michigan. Yep, absolutely, and, you know, Spence had the type of year that he had. He was big Big Ten player of the year, and he did everything he possibly could to help us win a Big Ten championship and, and almost, you know, put us on a run to Omaha. So 
he did everything he could do. Um, couldn't have been prouder of, of the year that he had, and, and um, good to see him. He just he got back on the mound last week for the first time, and that was great to see, and to get, got a chance to say hello to his parents uh, after the game in Michigan. So always thankful for their support. And, and um, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's always a sign of a healthy program when you've got multiple guys uh, each year that are in their draft year that have a chance to, to go play professionally. Another text for you, Coach Brandon from Omaha says, first of all, nothing beats the Blacktops. Uh, Coach, how do you validate or at what point do you realize a guy might be better suited for the bullpen compared to being ex a starter example, Garza, who has thrown great in relief this season but struggled as a starter? Do you think it's it, uh, it the boys putting too much pressure on themselves when they start? Um, I, I, again, I, I just think when it comes to some of those things, there's, there's no exact answer. You know, there, there's... Um, there's been cases of guys that have been in the pen that have that have worked their way into the rotations. Maybe not this year, maybe not last year. I'm talking over the course of the, the 20 years that I've been a college baseball coach. We've seen that. Um, we've seen guys that you're absolutely sure are going to be a, a surefire starter, and they just end up being better out of the bullpen. You really don't know what it's going to look like until you get out there and start competing. And 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 Garza. There's a reason we had him in the pen to start the year, as we felt like that was kind of going to be the best thing for him and for our, and for us was to be a bullpen guy, uh, kind of by necessity. We we put him back in the in the rotation and given some other guys some cracks and. I, I certainly wouldn't say it's from a trying to put too much pressure on themselves thing I, or kind of turning down that, that opportunity because they, they just don't want it or they don't uh, you know, want it bad enough or they just, they're, they're cracking under pressure or anything like that. I just, I just think that's baseball sometimes. Um, so you, you try to kind of pinpoint what you feel like the best roles would be for certain guys. Um, and it's, it's pretty fluid, quite honestly. You just very rarely do you have the same rotation throughout the course of the entire season. Um, it's usually pretty fluid and um, ever changing. The 1890 Initiative, helping Husker student athletes navigate name, image, and likeness to learn more or donate, visit 1890Nebraska.com. 402-413-2400, that's the number to be a part of the program. It is our Sports Nightly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime. They've got 18 brands, a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. A lot more with a coach coming up. There is no place like Nebraska, and there is no place that treats you like your home like Sap Brothers. For over 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and has been a reliable partner to local farms, businesses, and Huskers fans across Nebraska. Providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane. Servicing your farming equipment and welcoming guests into our travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics. The Nebraska Lottery has given over $900 million back to our state since 1993. It's gone to improve our environment, education, and stay fair. Over $900 million? That's something. I'll say. Hey, I have a great idea for a commercial. Have someone count to $900 million out loud. That would take 28 years. Mm, not a good idea. I don't know, with a little background music and some sound effects. There's another studio down the hall. Why don't you get started? The Nebraska Lottery. 30 years of building a better Nebraska. First pitch to Everett. He launches one to left center. This one has a chance. It is deep, and it is gone. And Nebraska has gone back to back for the second time today. Hey, Esker fans. Tune in tomorrow with Greg Sharp and Ben McLaughlin as Nebraska baseball takes on Omaha in a midweek matchup. Pre-game coverage begins at 5.30 p.m. on the Huskers radio network. Tune in to your local affiliates or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Baseball season has arrived, and your local Cynics has all your favorite snacks and beverages for the game. So whether you're hitting the road for an away game, headed to Haymarket Park, or going to cheer on your favorite local team, make Cynics your destination for top quality fuel, your favorite snacks, and service from a local smile. Fuel your fandom at your local Cynics station. Husker Pride, powered locally at Cynics. Hi, it's Sam McEwen from the Omaha World Herald. And I'm Amy Just from the Lincoln Journal Star. Hey, listen, HuskerExtra.com and the Husker Extra mobile app have the best coverage of Nebraska sports. 
Our reporting team shares features and analysis of all Husker sports, along with the latest recruiting news and more. Plus, Husker Extra subscribers have access to our exclusive podcast, The Showdown, where we share our latest insights and expectations. Go to HuskerExtra.com or search Husker Extra in your app store. Download and subscribe today. Hey everyone, I'm Mark Wahlberg, and I have some exciting news to share. At Wahlbergers, we are all about bringing the family together to enjoy a great meal and have a great time. That's why right now, for a limited time, kids eat free every day at all Hy-Vee Wahlberger locations. Kids 12 and under can enjoy one free kid's meal with any purchase of an adult burger, sandwich, or entree salad. Bring the family to Wahlburgers and the Wahlburgers and High V stores where right now kids can eat free. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402 413 2400 with your Husker thoughts. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Hello, tomorrow. We may not know exactly what you've got in store for us, for our routines and our normals. But here's the thing. Turns out, we've got this. We haven't seen everything, but we have seen ourselves be more ready for whatever you bring than we thought we would be. So when it comes to tomorrow, bring on the day. First Interstate, built for you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Visit us at firstinterstate.com. Looking for a car buying experience tailored to you? Start with Woodhouse, a trusted partner for automotive needs and a proud member of the Nebraska community. With 18 brands and 21 sales and service locations, our dedicated Woodhouse team is ready to provide you a convenient and seamless transaction from anywhere. Whether purchasing, selling, or servicing, experience the difference with Woodhouse, the official auto dealer of Nebraska Athletics. Husker fans, don't miss your chance to get a first look at new head coach Matt Rule and the 2023 Husker football team. Be in Memorial Stadium on Saturday, April 22nd for the annual Nebraska football red and white spring game presented by FNBO. Tickets are on sale now and are only $10 when purchased in advance and $20 on the day of the game. To secure your tickets today or for more information, visit huskers.com slash tickets or call 402-472-3111. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. At CHI Health Clinic, we believe healthcare should be personal because knowing your provider personally makes appointments more comfortable, more productive, and more meaningful to your overall health. Get matched with a primary care provider based on your personality and lifestyle using CHI Health Clinic's My Provider Match. Take the survey at myprovidermatch.com to find the right provider for you. Getting healthier starts by getting personal at CHI Health Clinic. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. It's our Nebraska baseball show for the week. The head coach will bolt with us until the top of the hour. If you want to be a part of the program with a call or a text, 402-413-2400. We're also up on our YouTube stream, and you can jump in the chat room and have some fun with the folks in there. In fact, Andy in the chat room says, Coach, please come back to Phoenix and play in the beginning of the season again. <laughs> Is that doable? It's doable, yeah. I mean, we, we're still, um, you know, a couple of years out with our schedule, just looking at, you know, early season uh, venues and places to go. So uh, that's always a nice one because you figure, although I know there's been times that, 
the Huskers have gone down there, and there's been some the rain. kind of weird weather, yeah. but um, a lot of a great uh, fan base down there too. So um, I, I enjoyed going down there. My times as an assistant here, um, even as a player, I believe we opened up um, in, in Phoenix a time or two. A lot of those Husker snowbirds live down yeah. there, and then they love to come out and watch the Absolutely. team play. Absolutely, yeah. There's some good there's some good places to play down there too yeah. with, the, with the minor league stuff. Dennis on a text says, Coach, how do you scout an opponent for an upcoming series like, for example, Northwestern, uh, where they've had major changes there with that program? Yeah, so we there is a, a software uh, called Synergy um, where we can get on and um, it, it basically any time that there's been any video uh, of a of a team, uh, you can get on and and you can it has a ton of filters. I mean, you can go all the way down to the pitch, the situation, how many guys on base. Um, it, it really breaks it down for you um, in a lot of ways and. Um, so that happened probably about five or six years ago uh, where that came out and man saved us a ton of time from a video standpoint um, and then there's another uh, f couple different softwares that we can use as well that kind of put uh, a lot of the um, numbers together for us and our analytics department here uh, gives us some information as well so um, we got a lot of bases covered that way with with uh, scouting and, and our staff uh, you know, Rob Childress does a lot of that. You know, for us, just from a from the standpoint of putting the reports together on on paper, um, and we've got some uh, Gunnar Hellstrom with our our grad manager, um, Danny Marcuso, and and then obviously Lance and Jeff watch a ton of video as well. Jeff is you know going through their lineups, and Lance is you know watching all the pitchers and. Um, and then we have I have a lot of information in the dugout as well. Um, you know, Jeff's looking at it, um, you know, as, as he's calling pitches. And, again, it's not necessarily always going to be the same for every hitter. I mean, we have hot and cold zones for guys. They handle pitches in or away better. Uh, if they handle the, the, the breaking ball, the fastball, we have all that information there for us. So we've also got to balance that with our own player strengths too. You know, so you don't want to just necessarily spend all your focus and time on the opposing team. You want to really try to try to uh, play to the strengths of, of your team as well. So there's a lot of those things out there, and uh, our, our staff does an amazing job of just just being prepared when we go into a series. Dennis, thanks for the question. Dorothy Lynch, Homestyle, light and lean dressing, endless flavor abilities. Let's go to the phones up to Minnesota. Tim, you're up next with the head coach. Good evening. Thanks for taking my call. First of all, um, belated, happy, belated, happy Easter to both of you guys. Thank and you. In that context, um, to quote a former Husker after another momentous event, um, I felt kind of bad about ruining Michigan's Easter only for about, you know, 30 seconds. Um, and then the other question is, and I know other people have talked about it. Um, you guys were just talking about the improvement of the bullpen. And I was texting with someone not long ago today about things like that, just about how, just how things have improved. Although I know that there's still, you know, a lot of challenges ahead. I think the one improvement that really seemed to stick out in my mind the most was is it Casey Burnham? Because in that disastrous San Diego weekend, I remember he had a really painful. It was a really painful moment where he made that base running mistake. But I have not seen much that. But the nice thing is, things like that have sure gone away. You guys definitely righted the ship after that San Diego weekend, and I am getting a kick out of telling other guys about you up here in Minnesota and just you know. Following you guys playing, I'm looking forward to if my if my TV cooperates, watching you guys on the Big Ten Network. Tim, thanks for the call. Yeah, thanks for the comments, Tim. Um, yeah, just I guess maybe to follow up on uh, you know the bullpen. Um, I, it's kind of a you know early in the season um, you're, you're trying to figure out roles a little bit and, and that was something that I said uh, after that first weekend was you know I know we have the talent it's just a matter of us finding the right pieces of the puzzle um, and, and we feel like we started to solidify some of those things obviously um, your starting pitching um, helps clean up a lot of bullpen stuff because if you don't have to go to the bullpen early in the weekend, it helps set up the rest of the weekend. And, and um, Emmett's done a nice job setting the tone there. But, you know, <clears throat> the further we get into the season, um, Jake Buns is getting healthier. And um, I, mentally and physically, he wasn't quite ready to start the year. 
um, and and now he looks great. Um, I think Kyle Perry physically, uh, mentally was was plenty ready to go, and, and physically as well. I, I, again, I think both those guys are coming off two arm injuries, so the further they get away from their um, their rehab and then then their um, the start of the season, they've you just seen their stuff get better, sharper. They were kind of gaining their confidence, um, and it's certainly Shea has been really dominant here over the course of the last six or seven outings now. Um, so that that's solidified some things. We had a stretch there and it, for a couple of weeks where Hawkins wasn't available. Um, he had a shoulder thing going on. He's healthy now. He's given us um, some good innings out of the bullpen. Brockett's done a nice job. When we've had Garza in the pen, he's done a nice job. So if we can keep those pieces there, um, and I think there's there's a couple more I'd like to get going a little bit too. Clark, um, you know we're gonna we're gonna put him back out there tomorrow as a starter. Um, did a nice job last week. Um, like I said against Kansas State, he was our Sunday guy to start the year. We need to get him going again. And there's a couple others I think that are in that in that mix that maybe you haven't seen a lot of um, that that can still chip in and help. Um, so I, it's 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 the needles pointing up with our pitching staff for sure. Um, and yeah, I, the, you know, the base running stuff we saw the first weekend, hate to see it, you know, because it did, it did cost us in a couple of situations. Um, we're always going to be aggressive. Um, but yeah, we, we've done a nice job. Uh, we played a, just a, a clean brand of baseball, I would say, um, you know, for the most part over the course of the entire year. How about Casey Burnham? You referenced him. Yeah, Casey. I, I don't. I know he was referencing a particular play in that first game where he kind of ran into an out. But man, he's been he's been an amazing center field, fielder for us. Um, what he's brought physically, he's been even better just from a the team standpoint. He's a great. He, he's a leader. He's not a captain, but he's a he's a leader on our team because guys respect him. He has a great attitude every day. He's the same guy every day. He brings a toughness to the team. Um, you know, he's 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 got 11 hit by pitch already, you know, just he's always on base, you know, so um, he's been a major, major factor for us. And um, you really, again, you're starting to see him uh, really kind of play to his role even better as the year goes along. Art in Los Angeles says, Coach, do you ever take the team bowling or have a group activity? Do you do those type of things with this group? Uh, yeah, we do. Um, you know, in the fall we had a couple of uh, – team team act team dinners uh we've had a couple team activities and not so much this spring we, although we do have on the docket now that the the weather's getting warmer we've been talking about it uh since the fall i, I challenged the the group to, to find their five best golfers and i think we're going to do a scramble at some point um with with five of the, the guys that they've chosen as their best golfers versus our staff sweet uh we've been talking about that chirping a little bit more about that over the weekend uh with augusta you know the masters going on and, and that kind of stuff and the weather starting to turn so i think we might have uh that coming up i I know there's a couple of guys in there that think that they should be in the top five that maybe aren't, so they're going to have to figure that out. But, um, yeah, we'll see if we can get that done here. Ken Lund says, Coach, really appreciate what you're doing. You're the right guy at the right time. During your hitting drills, I'm sure you do some bunting practice. Do you do a slow down the swing ground ball to the right side just to get runners in from third with less than two outs? Yeah, we, we've done that. Um, and we haven't – that's – being nitpicky about our our offense this year we we've too many punch outs in those situations where we've got a runner at third and all we need to do is put the ball in play and we have worked on it uh, we've talked about it um yeah it just sometimes it just comes down to not not taking um you know your full swing just do what it takes to to hit the ball uh, put the ball in play so um but yeah we we do work on that those those things the situational hitting and and the bunting and and some of those things but um yeah, uh, I think that's a that's an area that I think we can continue to improve. And if we do that, um, you're going to see us, you know, kind of. Uh, you don't need to get a hit with a runner in scoring position. You've got a runner at third with less than two outs. So uh, that's what our offense is designed around. And uh, yeah, that, I would say that's something that that we need to continue to improve on. Kellen, always great to hear from you. Another Texan for you, Coach. Explain how Coach Christie gets the pitch signal to the catcher and the pitcher, and do the infielders also get the signal? Yeah. So there's a. Uh, especially now with the pitch clock it's important because it putting on a, a bunch of signs now and 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 the, the coach christie you know 
giving the catcher the sign and the catcher putting the the fingers down that 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 takes a long time and i think that is that is a good thing about the game the the pitch clock that's that's happened is it's it has increased the pace of play a little bit uh, so now the the pitchers wear a wristband and the catchers wear a wristband there's seven of them that we have i believe so both middle infielders have one i believe our center fielder has one and then there's usually one in the bullpen so the the guy that comes out of the pen already has one so so coach christie has he has his scouting report and he's going through it and he obviously his sequences of pitches that he you know he's putting in and he so he puts a number in on a on a pad and then that number shows up on the wristband for for all the guys that have them on uh, he also has the bluetooth still that he can speak with with the catchers um, and and kind of talk them through some situations as well uh, so uh, that that's kind of how that works and that's if you see the pitcher kind of looking down at his at his at his glove mm -hmm. that's what he's looking at he's looking at his uh at his wristband and that's that's where the pitch is coming in from good good question all right folks time now for this week's husker baseball trivia contest brought to you by the nebraska lottery your chance to receive 100 dollars in scratch tickets from the nebraska lottery limit one winner per household during the season want you to text your guests to our text line, 402-413-2400. Max Anderson, Bryce Matthews, both have more than 10 home runs. That hasn't happened in a while for the Cornhuskers. Who were the last two guys on the same team to hit more than 10 home runs in a season? If you have the answer to that, text it again to 402-413-2400. We'll reveal the answer next. Nebraska Innovation Campus creates partnerships between business and the University of Nebraska. Partners lease office space, laboratories, pilot plants, and greenhouses. All centrally located with easy access to University of Nebraska talent and resources. Nebraska Innovation Campus, creating spaces and culture that inspire. Learn more at innovate.unl.edu. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Husker fans, this is Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. You've probably heard about NIL, name, image, and likeness, and now you can have an immediate impact on the success of our programs. The 1890 Initiative is a proud NIL company in Nebraska, and with your help, we can maximize our student-athletes' opportunities with NIL and prepare them for life after college. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics. Let's do the same with NIL. To learn more, visit 1890Nebraska.com, where 100% of your donation goes directly to Husker student-athletes. That's 1890Nebraska.com. Farmers can make what seems impossible reality with a little hard work and ingenuity. They find solutions to reduce inputs and improve their yield. Valley Irrigation is no different. As the leader in irrigation technology, we deliver results and optimize your operation. Because when you have a vision for the future, you need the people that can make it possible by your side. Expect what's next. Expect what's possible from Valley. Visit us at valleyirrigation.com. Looking for a car buying experience tailored to you? Start with Woodhouse, a trusted partner for automotive needs and a proud member of the Nebraska community. With 18 brands and 21 sales and service locations, our dedicated Woodhouse team is ready to provide you a convenient and seamless transaction from anywhere. Whether purchasing, selling, or servicing, experience the difference with Woodhouse, the official auto dealer of Nebraska Athletics. Baseball season has arrived, and your local Cenex has all your favorite snacks and beverages for the game. So whether you're hitting the road for an away game, headed to Haymarket Park, or going to cheer on your favorite local team, make Cenex your destination for top quality fuel, your favorite snacks, and service from a local smile. Fuel your fandom at your local Cenex station. Husker Pride, powered locally at Cenex. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Dear gas prices, go take a hike. 
Toyota is the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. The Toyota hybrid lineup brings efficiency with power, savings with style, and top-notch tech to keep you connected. Not to mention plush premium interiors and the most advanced Toyota safety features. So, now you know who you're talking to. Toyota, the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. Toyota, the brand with a hybrid or electric vehicle for every driver. Toyota, the brand that helps save you money at the pump. Now, let me ask you a question, dear gas prices. You really think you can stand in the way of the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years? <laughs> Think again. Toyota Hybrids. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. Based on manufacturer estimates, CY 2000 through 2021 sales. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so hot. The air conditioner is out again. SOS, he screams and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. SOS, SOS. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared... You spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus. Insurance. Employee benefits. Financial services. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. First Interstate Bank built for you. Learn more at www.firstinterstatebank.com. Member FDIC still looking for the winner of our trivia question. When's the last time the Huskers had two guys on the same team hit more than 10 home runs? Jim in Columbus says, man, that's one tough question. Jim, you're right. I'm going to give everybody a hint. It happened. The last time it happened, 2010. So think 2010 era of Husker baseball. The last time Huskers had two guys on the same team with more than 10 home runs. Max Anderson, Bryce Matthews have already done it here this year. Let's go to the phone. Let's go to Grand Island. Doug, you're up next. Good evening, Doug. Good evening. Um, Coach, how does Nebraska's uh, stadium or field hold up against the rest of the Big Ten? And if there was anything that you would like to have added to it or that you feel you need for recruiting wise what would that be and greg i really appreciate you and ben it's always nice to kind of always remind us who's batting right-handed or left-handed we just haven't seen these guys enough on tv or at least i haven't to remember who's who bats what and it's kind of nice to always hear that uh so you can keep in your mind the the matchups righty lefty whatever and uh, just continue the good work, Coach. We're proud of the Grand Island kids that are contributing to the program. And go Big Red, and I'll hang up. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Doug. Thanks for the call. Yeah, uh, the Island boys have, have been huge uh, for us this year, and I know they're having a lot of fun playing together here um, this season. But, um, you know, to answer your question uh, about the, the facilities, uh, I would say from a stadium standpoint, uh, you know, Haymarket Park and, and Hawks Field is still, uh, you know, a jewel. It is a beautiful facility, um, it, you know, and it's 
still the by far I think the best stadium um, around. Um, I think it is unique. But we've got a natural surface, and and um, you know you walk up and it's grand, and uh, the the 360 concourse, and just the the batter's eye with the trees. It's just it's a great feeling. Um, you know, family atmosphere and, and everything else. So I, the ballpark itself is great. Um, there are definitely some improvements that could be made just in terms of the um, some of the player development areas and just the we have the Alex Gordon facility, which we're very grateful for. Uh, but, you know, the stadium is over 20 years old now, and it's the same locker room that I used when I was a player. You know, uh, our offices are um, – getting a little cramped to say the least you know the the staffs are bigger now than they were 20 years ago uh, whenever um, the stadium was built uh, the, the, the the we just don't have a ton of room for for kind of the rosters are a little bit bigger now um, you know so I, we could definitely use an upgrade when it comes to locker room and and maybe maybe some player development areas and certainly uh, we need more a little more space for the coaches um, you know f so uh, we're working on some of those things, and I, and I do think that there's some other things throughout the stadium that could, we could do as well um, to increase some revenue streams. And um, I, I could maybe talk on that for for hours when it comes to some of these things. But um, we got we got a lot to be thankful for, and I also think we also have um, some room for improvement if you know we really need to get up to to date and up to speed with some things when it comes to some of the player development areas. I can't wait to see it tomorrow night. It's been two weeks since we've been there. I'm sure it's way greener now than it was two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. The, the grass is starting to green up a little bit. We've had um, now the water's been on for a while, and, um, you know, it's starting to starting to look like a, a ball field. And, um, you know, we've got that brand-new grass out there, too. So can't wait to see it. Um, probably one of my favorite things about having a natural surface is just to seeing the striped-up grass. You yeah. know, when the grass gets striped up, it, there's nothing better than that and the smell of it. We do have a winner on our trivia question. We'll tell you who got it right when we come back. Ben in Lincoln, hang on. We'll get to your phone call. Uh, ben called us up on our Sports Island hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime. 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. Back to wrap it up with Coach next. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Your story, it lives in River City, where you can enjoy a metropolitan vibe and a small town feel, where we set the standard for service and looking out for one another, where there's so much more than steak in our thriving food scene. Your story is the story of Omaha, told by those who live it and love it. Whether that's helping you keep up with the Cornhuskers or creating the content you crave. And here in the Omaha World Herald is where it comes to life. Omaha World Herald, where your story lives. That's my neighbor, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, John. Joe's about to make a big mistake. Hey, Joe, I think it might be a good idea to call 811 to have the utilities marked before you start digging? I'm not digging very deep. It's no big deal. <laughs> no big deal. Dad, the TV's out. Internet, too. Remember, safe digging always starts with a free call to 811. Oh, what a knucklehead. Brought to you by Nebraska 811. Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200. Standard text messaging rates apply and may vary by carrier. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hello, tomorrow. We may not know exactly what you've got in store for us, for our routines and our normals. But here's the thing. Turns out, we've got this. We haven't seen everything, but we have seen ourselves be more ready for whatever you bring than we thought we would be. 
So when it comes to tomorrow, bring on the day. First Interstate, built for you. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Visit us at firstinterstate.com. Your neighborhood is more than blocks of buildings. It's the people who live there that make it special. At Union Bank and Trust, we're not just creating home loans, we're making neighbors. We're not just small business lenders, we're small business shoppers. We don't just live in your community, we help you build it. Because our people are your people. Visit ubt.com slash neighbor to learn more. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Back for a few minutes with head coach Will Bolt. Huskers will be in action tomorrow night against Omaha at Haymarket Park. First of a five-game little homestand for the Big Red. We had our trivia question from the Nebraska Lottery earlier in the hour. Bryce and Max both have over 10 home runs. Who were the last two Huskers to do that in the same year? 2010, Adam Bailey, Cody Ashey did it in 2010. Kelly Richardson from here in Lincoln got it right. So, Kelly, congratulations. You are the winner of 100... Uh, 100 Dollars in scratch tickets from the Nebraska Lottery. Did you know the lottery has raised over $933 million, which has helped to provide more than 150,000 college scholarships, save wildlife habitats across the state, and fund new facilities at the Nebraska State Fair, the Nebraska Lottery, helping to build a better Nebraska. Let's get back to the phones. We'll stay in Lincoln. Ben, you're up next with the head coach. Hey, coach. Hey, Ben. Great to talk to you. Um, I just... I. I had non like not a, a coaching recommendation question for you. I was just curious who on your team is the most um, like baseball guy, right? So, you know, just the guy who just loves the game more than anybody else. And maybe there's not one, but I just was curious about that. Baseball guy, um, I, you know, interestingly enough, I think um, there's two of our better players probably um, have the most um, conversations during a game uh, with with us as coaches just um, and it have really have since uh, their freshman year. Bryce and Max um, really, really pay attention. Um, you know, Max can really pick up stuff, you know, from pitchers and he can pass those things along. Um, and and Bryce is just really uh, he's always been able to see the field really well on defense and um, had had a good feel for the game and maybe part of that for Bryce is he he was a big time quarterback in in high school so he's able to kind of slow things down and see the field um, as a quarterback and he's he's certainly done that for us so. Uh, uh, e Fry is another guy that that really kind of just likes to pick pick our brains at times, and we can have conversations with. And um, I, I know I may be le- leaving some guys out, um, but uh, you know I feel like there's some some savviness in there that maybe just um, kind of enhances the talent of, of some of our better players and, and allows them to to play at a high level because maybe they pick up on some things that um, they just kind of pay attention to the details. So. Uh, you know, there's a, quite a few guys. I think that they they watch, they they pick up on things. They, you know, um, I think maybe Dylan Carey seems to be a type of guy like that that really loves the game too. So, you know, there's other guys in there. I think the thing that makes this team fun is we have a bunch of guys that that love to play and they they show up every day and, and they have a great attitude and they love to play. Less than a minute to go. Sam at Omaha says, "What is it about Omaha that makes them tough to play?" I seem to have a lot. I have a lot of respect for Evan Porter. Yeah, I think they've they've done a nice job identifying um, talent and and getting you know guys in that fit their system and uh, they play us tough. Obviously, I mean we we've had our hands full with those guys and um, you know they they we have a hard time putting them away at times with two strikes and they they do a good job of moving the baseball and they seem to always play good defense against us and, and come up with some some clutch moments. So uh, they've done a nice job there. They've got a nice facility. Coach Porter, uh, I have a ton of respect for him as well. Great great human being. A uh, really good baseball coach, and he's done a fine job with their program. See you tomorrow night at the park. Sounds good. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Have a great night. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. When you're a fan, you wear your team's jersey on your back and your heart on your sleeve. After a win, your world glistens. Lose, and the hurt permeates your soul. 
You'll always have a place with us in the Cox Fan Zone, where everyone can play and connect with other fans in a big group hug. See, in the Fan Zone, you're not some crazy fan. Your home. Hey, Husker fans, this is Greg Sharp, voice of the Huskers. Say fan zone into your contour voice remote to play. Not at home? Visit cox.com slash fan zone. Go Huskers. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Sam Pineda with Campus News. Husker students on the debate team and Bateman competition public relations team earned national championships this past year, marking a first for each program. The debate team claimed victory with one of the youngest teams in the country, while the Bateman Competition Public Relations team won their championship by building a PR campaign for the Lymphoma Research Foundation. Hey everyone, I'm Mark Wahlberg, and I have some exciting news to share. At Wahlburgers, we are all about bringing the family together to enjoy a great meal and have a great time. That's why right now, for a limited time, kids eat free every day at all Hy-Vee Wahlburger locations. Kids 12 and under can enjoy one free kid's meal with any purchase of an adult burger, sandwich, or entree salad. Bring the family to Wahlburgers and the Wahlburgers and High V stores where right now kids can eat free. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card. Free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC.